Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the upcoming GNOME 48 release. A major update that promises to bring a host of exciting new features and improvements to one of the most popular desktop environments in the Linux world. Overview GNOME 48 is set to debut in just a few weeks, following a schedule that started with an alpha release in January and will culminate in the final release by mid-March. This new version not only refines the user interface but also introduces a variety of core app enhancements and system tweaks aimed at boosting productivity and user satisfaction. Let's talk about the key features. Wellbeing Dashboard One of the standout additions in GNOME 48 is the new Wellbeing feature. This tool is designed to help you manage your screen time by offering a detailed dashboard that tracks daily usage. You can set daily limits, receive notifications when you hit those limits, and even trigger a grayscale mode to reduce eye strain and encourage breaks. Battery Charge Limiting Battery health gets a boost too, with improved integration in the settings app. Users can now set custom charge limits for their laptops. This feature, powered by UPower, allows you to protect your battery life's lifespan by defining optimal charge thresholds, meaning fewer worries about premature battery degradation. Enhanced Calendar App The GNOME calendar has been revamped for a smoother experience. New design updates include a more initiative event editor with options for all-day events time zone selections, and even weather forecast right in the month view. These improvements are set to make scheduling and managing your day a lot more convenient. Improved Flatpak Handling For those who use Flatpak to manage applications, GNOME 48 introduces better support for Flatpak plus HTTPS URLs. This means you can now install applications directly from web links simplifying the process by eliminating extra steps like manual downloads. New Default Audio Player – Decibels Now a core component of GNOME, the Decibels Audio Player offers a minimal yet powerful interface. With its intuitive controls and unique waveform animations that synchronizes with your music. It promises a fresh, streamlined listening experience. Now. HDR and Color Management Enhancements Multimedia enthusiasts will appreciate the significant advancements in display management. GNOME 48 includes a new HDR configuration option accessible directly from the Settings app, letting you toggle HDR settings using the BT2100 standard. Additionally, support for the VLAN Color Management Protocol has arrived ensuring better color accuracy across your applications and displays. Now finally, additional improvements. There are also several smaller yet impactful changes. A refreshed wallpaper that updates the visual feel of the desktop. On-screen notification for headphone connections to keep you informed. The default font has been switched to Advaita fonts replacing the previous Cantorell. The color panel in settings has been renamed to color management. The GNOME Shell extensions package is no longer part of the core installation. Even the Maps app has been updated, now using the system as a color for location markers. How to try GNOME 48 If you are curious to get a hands-on experience before the official launch, you can download the latest GNOME OS nightly builds. Do keep in mind that this build is designed for testing and not for everyday use. For more stable experience, look forward to upcoming distro releases from Fedora and Ubuntu, which are expected to include GNOME 48 by April. That's our rundown of what's new in GNOME 48, with its array of new features and refinements. GNOME 48 is shaping up to be a significant upgrade for Linux users everywhere. If you found this video helpful, Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on Linux and open source software. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.